Hey everyone, Steve here with another episode of That Geek Guy. Today I'm going to demonstrate the ultimate Commodore computer hack. As you can see in front of me today, I have two Commodore 128 uh, computers. Both of them are hooked up to monitors. Uh, this one in particular is an original um, Commodore monitor, a model 1084S. Uh, these come from back from around 1982. And this computer over here is hooked up to a modern television screen. In this case, it's an LCD flat screen. It's like an HD TV. We have uh, Commodore 1571 floppy disk drives hooked up to both of these. And I'm going to demonstrate the operating system on both. On this Commodore 128, I'm running a hack that's called Jiffy DOS. It's a disk accelerating software that allows access to these slow floppy drives at almost twice the speed. Um, most of the time when you go to load a program on these old machines, you have to be very patient. Now at the time, they were considered fast because they used to run uh, cassette tapes and those were analog audio that made sounds like a modem and the computer would pick up those sounds and convert them to a digital signal which was actually the code for the software. On this particular computer it has two hacks in it. The other one besides Jiffy DOS is a thing called the servant. Now if I reboot the computer with the reset switch over here you'll see Okay, that's what the 128 screen would look like. And then this right here is the servant. Now the servant makes the command line loading even easier than ever. Uh, with this one, I have a menu screen up here. Uh, I have options from uh, where I would type in a number 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 for the corresponding menu. And on the menu item, I could do things like boot the disk. I could run a program. I could uh, load a directory. Uh, I can look at my disk tools, and I can do all the features without having to memorize all the long keystrokes that would have had to have been entered in. Uh, one of the nice things I like about this one is I can jump out of it, and I can go straight to the Commodore 64 by pressing the number 9, for example. And that one in it tells me, please confirm uh, by pressing return that this is what you want to do. And like that, it goes through its system, and boom, now I've got my... Uh, Commodore 64 operating system back up. And specifically, this one is actually running uh, Jiffy DOS uh, version 5.0. I think they're up to 6.1 now. So this is a pretty modern hack. Uh, but this was something that was available back in the day. Uh, if you ever tried to load some of these disks, you'll know that they do take a very, very long time. In another episode, I'll demonstrate the cassette tape that I was talking about on a uh, on a Commodore VIC-20. That's the one of the very first home use computers that Commodore had. Uh, before that they had something called the PET. They were actually Commodore business machines, believe it or not. Um, but uh, with all of these things there's a lot of different hacks that you can do and in my next segment I'm gonna go beyond just the chip upgrade that you can do on this to a massive uh, It'll, it'll just blow your mind, let me just say that. Uh, until then, this is Steve for That Geek Guy, and I thank you for watching.